You're watching Eagle News America. I'm Alan Basoyahe in Los Angeles. There is new development in the fight against COVID-19. This time, instead of a vaccine, it's a treatment against the virus. BBC's Eliza gonzalez Manikma joins us this evening with the details. Thank you, Alan. A good Sunday evening to you and a wonderful Monday morning to our friends on the other side of the globe. That is correct. Indeed, a new development. A recent study suggests the experimental drug Temple may be a promising oral antiviral treatment against the coronavirus. The study was conducted by researchers at the National Institute of Health and focused on cell cultures. According to the NIH, Temple can limit SARS-CoV-2 infection by impairing the activity of a viral enzyme called RNA replicase. The work was led by researchers at NIH's Eunice Kennedy Shriver National Institute of Child Health and Human Development and has published and has been published in Science. NICHD Director Diana Bianchi says there is an urgent need for additional effective accessible treatments for COVID-19. She emphasizes an oral drug that prevents SARS-CoV-2 from replicating would be an important tool for reducing the severity of the disease. The development comes as good news, especially here in the United States, where the latest count of confirmed COVID-19 cases is at 33,361,523. And COVID related deaths are approaching the 600,000 mark. As more than 138 million in the United States have been vaccinated, the potential of an effective treatment against the virus that causes COVID 19 is great news as America tries to turn the corner and head to a semblance of pre-pandemic times. In Washington, D.C., Eliza Gonzalez, Manglik Mott, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Back to you, Alan. Well, Eliza, how, how does this drug actually work? Uh, well, Alan, as I was reading the material about it, there were a lot of scientific terms having to deal with iron sulfur clusters and um, RNA replicase. Uh, in layman's terms, however, this drug would simply prevent the virus from replicating. So in short, the virus wouldn't be able to flourish in the person it had infected. And so lessening how sick the person gets and decreasing the likeliness of death. Alan? And so how did the NIH approach the study? Alan, the study team was led by Tracy Rowalt. Uh, she's the head of the NICHD section on human iron metabolism. It discovered Temple's effectiveness by evaluating a more basic question on how the virus uses its, its RNA replicase. Um, like what we said earlier, it's an enzyme that allows uh, SARS-CoV-2 to replicate. Um, and make copies of itself once it's inside the cell. Alan? Uh, you, you did mention SARS-CoV-2 several times. Is this the same as COVID-19? Um, Alan, from what I understand, the virus is now known as the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, or uh, like you said, SARS-CoV-2. But the disease it causes is called uh, Coronavirus Disease 2019, and that's COVID-19. Alan? Well, Eliza, we certainly appreciate explaining things in layman's terms uh, for us. We appreciate the report. Thanks, Alan.